Massive effort to get an oil spill in Bayou Lafourche under control with new information tonight on just how much crude oil the parish is dealing with. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Devin Bartolotta. Sharice is off tonight. Around 830 this evening, the Unified Command Group broke down the latest numbers. They still say around 820 barrels or just over 34,000 gallons was spilled. 117 workers are on location, but they have paused operations for the night. No people have been injured, but there are reports of animals dying. And as Lily Cummings explains, not all of the spilled oil made it to Bayou Lafourche. 34,440 gallons. That's the estimated amount of crude oil that spilled in Lafouche Parish. It's about two residential swimming pools of product. And again, I want to stress that not all of that made it to Bayou Lafouche. A lot of that, about half of it was contained inside of the facility. Uh, so we're really looking at about a swimming pool worth of product that made it into the bayou. The source of the leak is Crescent Midstream, a hub that sends crude oil from offshore to refineries in other parishes. Parish President Archie Chasson says two smaller tanks on the property caused the issue. We do know that they had some tanks inside their berm and there was some type of failure there that allowed the release of the product. We want to explain exactly how this oil made it from Crescent Midstream's facility behind me here in Raceland into Bayou Lafouche. As you can see, that oil ran into this drainage ditch. It made it all the way to this large drainage culvert. Now this actually runs all the way under Canal Street and the company tells me the rain that came on Saturday made things worse, pushing it underneath the street and into the bayou. Now the Unified Command, which includes the EPA, Louisiana Oil Spill Coordinator's Office, Lafouche Parish Government, and Crescent Midstream, will investigate exactly how the oil escaped. On Monday, Chasson got this bird's eye view of the spill from a helicopter with Crescent Midstream's CEO. It speaks to the magnitude of the situation, uh, that their CEO came in all the way from Houston. They understand the, not only the sensitivity by Lafouche, and it's our drinking water source, but just the cultural heritage that we have here. Speaking of drinking water, precautionary booms were placed near the water intake and in this reservoir and the parish president says it's being monitored 24 7. Um, LDH was in the plant today um, working on some samples to further prove that the water was safe to drink uh, and as I've told everybody today I, I made my coffee and took my medicine with it this morning so it's it's working out pretty well. In Lafouche Parish, Lily Cummings, WWL Louisiana.